Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how the Quosis S-Line encryption works. So the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus both support the Quosis S-Line sensors. Now S-Line sensors are encrypted sensors in the fact that they, when they're paired with the system, they share an encryption key. And then after that pairing, only the system and the sensor, the S-Line sensor, will know what the next rolling code transmission will be. So that's actually how these S-Line sensors work. They use rolling code transmissions. The way that normal radio frequency sensors work, um, like let's say the uh, 433 megahertz, the 345 megahertz, the 319.5 megahertz, these are all DSC, Honeywell, 2 gig, Interlogix, uh, normal Quosis. The way that these radio frequencies work is that they're constantly, whenever a, a sensor is faulted, whenever a sensor is tampered or restored, um, they send out the same radio frequency signal. And if let's say a burglar is standing around with, a, with an RF sniffer, he can actually duplicate that RF frequency that's being sent out or that transmission that's being sent from the unencrypted sensor. And then he can actually duplicate that. And then when you guys leave the house, they can go ahead and recopy and send out that signal again to start kind of spamming or spoofing the system. The way that rolling code works and defeats this is that only the panel and the sensor know what the next rolling code transmission mean. Now, what does rolling code mean? It means that the transmission is constantly changing. It's changing. Um, it's not sending out the same signal every single time. So there's no way that a burglar that's standing around with an RF sniffer can duplicate the next signal because he doesn't know what it is. Only the system and the sensor will know what the next transmission is going to be. And the rolling code transmission is for any faults, any tampers, any restores. Um, and that's what S-Line does and that's how it protects you against any of these burglars that are looking to spam or spoof your system. Now, the S-Line sensors only work with the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus um, as long as you have the correct daughterboard card in the IQ2 Plus. The IQ2 already has the S-Line um, receiver daughterboard card in it, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you guys are doing the IQ2 Plus, uh, it has the Power G daughterboard card in every single IQ2 Plus. And then there's three different flavors. There's one that has the Honeywell 2 gig daughterboard card. There's one that has a DSC daughterboard card and the one that has the Quosis Interlogix one. That's the one you want to make sure you're using if you're planning on getting S-Line sensors. But PowerG has more encryption and it's longer range. So normally if you have the IQ2+, you're using PowerG anyways, but just in case you guys want to mix and match sensors. Um, the S-Line sensors also can work at a 319.5 megahertz frequency. So let's say you guys have a IQ1, which is the first closest panel that was released, or even if you guys have an Interlogic system like a Simon XT, a Simon XTI, Simon XTI5, um, these uh, S-Line sensors will also work with these uh, older versions of the systems, but because they don't have uh, the receiver for the S-Line, they'll just use the normal radio frequency 319.5, so they won't actually have the rolling uh, transmission code. So that was just a quick video to kind of just explain how the rolling S-Line transmission works with the S-Line sensors. If you guys have any questions about compatibility, how to program them in, if you guys have an IQ2 or an IQ2 Plus that you guys need help getting set up and monitored, please feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If, if you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.